video, then I can start it up if you want to. Oh, sure. Excellent. Let's see. Can you tell me about this engine? Oh, sorry, I'm, sta I'm standing on it. What they call a pancake 12. So pancake 12. Gasoline engine. So you got six cylinders here, six cylinders on this side. The pistons move back and forth this way. Oh, interesting. Side draft Weber style carburetor. With a good speed automatic transmission. Looks in good shape. Yeah, this was just uh, replaced just about three months ago. Oh, okay. It was replaced, not rebuilt, but replaced. <laughs> yeah, we actually found we have another coach that's been sitting for 40 plus years. Oh, wow, and the engine was in it. This and engine was in there, and, and you just I assume you must have had to over turn it over a little bit. No, we uh, fired really? it. Really? After 40 years, you say it was sitting there? Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> fired it up, ran it, it sounded good, and took it out, cleaned it all up, painted it. That's amazing that it would sit for 40 years and still, it must have at least been, it wasn't outside, was it? Cause I would yeah, think, no, it was Really? Yeah. Holy cow. It did not, you would think all the rust would get in there and stuff? Wow. Yeah, no, all the spark plugs were still in there. That's the original spark plugs from 40 years ago? No, no, we were oh, okay. now. I mean, we fired it up. But when you fired it up, it had the original Yeah, spark. we took them out, cleaned them, spun the engine over a little Holy bit. Holy mackerel. Put the oil in the cylinders. I would think when you first started it up, everybody would kind of stand, stand back. Because <laughs> you don't know what would happen. <laughs> Clear? Yep. Uh-oh. That's the drive shaft we're seeing spinning there. The nice drive shaft actually goes all the way to the back and turns the van, the radiator van. Oh yeah? That's so the radiator's in the van? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that, this shaft you see here is going all the way back turning the van. Oh, wow. So there must be coolant lines, I guess, they are going all the way back too. Yep, this is the intake. Air intake? Oh. It goes right into the carburetors. Oh, I see. Air, oh yeah, okay. I'm not I'm not an engine expert by any means. Yeah, each side has its own cooling system. Underneath here is your thermostats. Oh, so each six cylinders has its own cooling system. Right. Um, so the water doesn't flow in between them. It's separate separate thermostats for each side? Yep. Huh. You wouldn't think one side would get significantly different temperature than the other. You <laughs> it shouldn't if everything's dialed in too, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like an old flathead Ford, the same way, same kind of, huh. kind of same principle. Yeah. Uh, I like that right-hand gauge there. <laughs> to the moon, Alice. I hope that comes out. Yeah, we have another picture where the fuel gauge is too in the back, where the filler, fuel filler is. Oh, really? Oh, oh, can I see it from the back? Okay, yeah. I'll go back. We got water temperature, air pressure. Yeah, air is your, pressure. your most important because if you lose air, you lose brakes. And these yeah. don't have no warning devices, so no air, no brakes, and the coach will still move. Mm. So yeah, amp meter. amp meter, water temperature, and oil pressure, that's our main yeah. gauges. Not, We're not 100% sure what was in here, <laughs> so it's some kind of a... I don't think they had speedometers. But. Oh, you're right, there's no speedometer, I didn't notice that. Right. So you just are doing it by your own judgment. Yeah. What is the top this, speed of this? This is your choke, and this is your starter button. Push button starter. What, what do you think the top speed of this is? I think it'll go no problem, probably 
50. 50? Okay, that's pretty good. And let's see, what do we got over here? These are probably lights and stuff. Yeah, we got our first switches for the rear door, second switch oh. is the lighting. There's two switches. We got daytime lighting and nighttime lighting. Oh. And then we have a Another switch that actually holds it in low gear, so if you're pulling a hill, uh, it'll hold it down in the low gear. Okay. You said it was two speed? Yeah. Yeah, so it holds it into the lowest of the two right. gears. Yeah. Okay. So this, the, these buses were ran up until 78, up, into, up to Point oh, wow. Tower. Oh, so, so that's pretty steep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So actually a lot of them, this was one bus that didn't have second gear. Somebody at, back in the day, Deleted second gear so they didn't make it allow it to shift. Oh, really? So we had to figure out how that worked and we got it all back to working correctly. Interesting. Because if it ever if it shifts while you're pulling the hill, you're kind of you're kind of stuck. Done. <laughs> well, you could, I mean, you, you could stop come, and come start over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> What's the red uh, the red mode? Uh, this that's uh, turns air on the door. So oh. Your, your doors will. Uh, Door motors. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. No power steering on this? Oh, no. <laughs> Man, it gives you a work
So what would you say is the biggest difference between driving this and a, and a modern bus today? What's like the biggest difference? Power steering. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it has power steering and uh, I don't know, it's a little bit more room here if I could oh, yeah. tilt the column. People were smaller back then, I think. Yeah, you don't hear the, you don't hear the motor running either. Oh, he lost his poles. You don't have to worry about that, that's good. He's going down till too, so he can go away. That's okay. Just don't run me over. No, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> 